hoping for answers. The family of Mia Marcano has released video of an interaction with the deceased suspect in her disappearance, Armando Caballero. Well, I'm guilty. Well, you you put yourself here? in the middle right here. You brought yourself over here. Marcano's family says this video was taken around 3.45 in the morning on September 25th the day after Mia was reported missing. You have you sent tomorrow, obsessive you texts to Mia. We have all seen the text. You talked about giving her your life savings. There's evidence of, of obsession. Of, so you're fascinated with Mia. Mia's family believes this video shows authorities could have acted earlier, before Caballero killed himself. Orange County Sheriff John Mina said he is aware of the family's concerns, but says there was nothing his deputies could have done at the time. So we do recognize in that video um, that family mentions concerns about previous interactions. You have sent tomorrow, obsessive you tomorrow, text to Mia. Between uh, Mia and Armando Caballero. Um, however, at the time the video was taken, there was no basis uh, for our deputies to detain or arrest Armando Caballero. Our deputies are not permitted to arrest or detain someone based on a hunch or based on what someone else is saying. Instead, they must establish facts um, to justify such a detention. Mia Marcano's family had planned to celebrate Carnival in Miami this weekend. Instead, relatives arrived from around the United States, Canada, Trinidad, and other areas of the Caribbean for a press conference and to plan her memorial. This was supposed to be a time when it's full of celebration and full of joy, but instead it's full of sorrow. Though no lawsuits have been filed, Daryl Washington, the Marcano family attorney, says he places responsibility on both the apartment complex where Mia and the suspect worked and on the Orange County Sheriff's Department. It's very clear that there was some negligence that was involved in this case. Uh, that's no secret. They say they plan to create a foundation in Mia's name, advocating for people in similar situations. One of Mia's relatives told reporters, we don't just want justice for Mia, we want change. Nosotros queremos justicia, queremos cambio. Her life cannot be taken in vain. One thing Mia taught us is to just love. This is Inside Edition Digital.